So uh, what does the tax assessment on your home tell you about its market value? The answer is not a lot, especially in an area where prices are going up. My name is Jana Classy, and my husband and I are realtors here in the Eastern Panhandle. So the tax department claims that they assess property at 60% of what they believe to be its market value. But if you look at uh, what homes around here have sold for and then compare that to what the tax department assessed them for, it's rarely 60%. Let me give you an example. Um, a home we recently sold, uh, sold for 200,000 but the tax department assessed it at 80,000. So 80,000 is not 60% of 200,000. 80,000 is 40% of 200,000. So um, what you could do then is look in your neighborhood, see what, their, what homes recently sold for, and then look at the tax assessment on them and look at what that formula is, what that percentage is, excuse me. And then uh, take that and apply it to your home. So for example, say your home assessed for 90,000 and the homes in your neighborhood all look like the tax department assessed them at about 40% of what they sold for. Then what you could do is take your tax assessment, 90,000, divide that by 40%, and then that would put you at around 225000 So this is not the best, most reliable way to determine uh, market value, but it is an indicator. So um, the best way to determine market value is to look at the features of homes at, near you and what they sold for and compare that to the features of your home. And that's a comparable market analysis and that's the most reliable way to determine market value. But if the tax assessment formula backs that up, then so much the better. All right, that's uh, pretty much um, it on the tax assessment. And um, like I said, it's not the most reliable way, but I think it is important to uh, know the logic behind the tax assessment numbers. All right. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Um, we'd love to help you if you need real estate help. I'm at 304-264-2828 and you have a wonderful day.